If you have an even number, stand and hang your mask, please. This is a test. If you've got an even number, that way it's even. Alicia, you're not even. Alicia failed. Five, that's a test. Oh, she's already, oh, you can take it off and hold it. It's okay. This is the hardest part of the flight, is hanging that mask back upright on that little clipboard. And once you've got that done, if you got an odd number, go ahead and stand hang your mask. This keeps you from hurting other right Now it's your turn, Elsa. Elisa. What is it? Elsa. Elsa. Dad, come on. He only has seven kids. He calls them you and you and you yeah, and you and you and you. He doesn't care remember their names either. This uh Yeah, yeah, to go. Everybody set up. Hey, we're gonna do this uh rapid decompression here at eight. We're going to eighteen thousand. And you'll hear a little bang, a little noise, probably a lot of fogging because the humidity and dew point's so high in there. So just reach up and grab that mask. It's a quick dawn. You can put it on. Five seconds left. Do me a favor, though. When you pull that off, you're not going to die. So don't rip that thing off because you ripped that clipboard off, that little clipper up there. It's about $300. And we have your name. So don't don't pull that off and yank it like you're dying or something. You know, Save us some clips. Okay. Your taxes we will promise go. we're here to help. We're only happy when you're unhappy. I mean, happy. Dad, come it. The FAA just can't get that straight. It gets confusing. Besides, I should be taking a nap. Oh, I mean, studying somewhere. <laughs> and you got the little uh, altimeters there on either side. They're probably not quite accurate, but they're close. We're looking for three good symptoms when you get up here at hypoxia. Once you get them, go to quit. That's what you're in there for. And the free gas that the government's giving you. <laughs> and the jokes. Hey, what do you want? I got some more, but I don't think they're ready for them. And four. Yeah, I think we're airborne. Whoa, look at the good fog. Good gas. All right. Check your flow, Check your guys. connections. Make sure you got a flow meter on your little thing in front. Look at that fog in there. You can tell we don't have humidity in Oklahoma. There we go. Thank no, you. I had a good lunch. Yeah. No. Geez, thank God for pure oxygen. If you got a flow indication, give a thumbs up, please. <laughs> Everybody give a thumbs up. you got a good flow indicator. There you go. All right, we're heading up to... Uh, 25,000. Reach around and grab that little clipboard back over there. It should be right there behind you. There should be a couple. Did did, did you go over those, Raj, at all? Yeah, what, which side do you want to do first? Okay. Okay, I tell you what, we'll go Franklin's side first over here on my right, your left. And so the Sarah's side over here, you're going to set and watch that group so you might flip that sheet over and on the back side you got a little chart to sort of watch for signs and then on uh, Franklin's side we got the problems there and then if you look down at question number four there's four five minutes I'm going to give you a one minute hack every time one minute two minute three minute the hack is just to show you where you're at really what you're after is three good symptoms that you can recognize a hypoxia 
<clears throat> some might be at two minutes, one minute, four minutes, five. It's not a it's not a time thing. Also, pick up the auction proximeter in front of you, only on Franklin's side over here, and fix that thing. And once you get that, uh, take your pulse reading, your your percentage pulse reading, and then put it on that sheet right there by your signature. Is that right there at the top, Pierre? Uh, no, item four. Item four down Which there. Which they've already done. Oh, they've already done that. Okay. Everybody got everybody got a pulse reading. Uh, that little gadget reading. Everybody's got to have a pulse. You wouldn't be in there. Okay, we're in good shape. So, once again, the other problems are there just for you to. You can do the problems or anything you wanted, but take a look around across the hall, and you'll see the colored sheet over there. That might change a little. We're going to go back to 18 and do a nighttime uh, fix as far as your rods and the eyes. So, uh, and that's that's when you really see the difference in the color chart. But you can take a look across the hall, and uh, we're at uh, 25,000 feet. Okay. Everybody on Franklin's side over here, when I tell you backwards by five, we're going to put the mask right in front of you on there and then do a little hypoxia sheet. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Mask off. Go ahead and take your mask off, Franklin's side only. You can lay it right there in front of you there on that little hose. And you got the sheet, you got the number. Uh, record right here. Lisa, okay, uh, there you go. Lisa, five. okay, good. Check your connections. Did you get a couple of good symptoms, Lisa? Three, good, good job. There's one minute. Go down to question number four. One minute line, and there's some areas where you can mark some of the standard symptoms. If you don't, if you have one that's not in there, go ahead and write it in there, and then also put your oxygenometer reading uh, right next to it. It's a free six pack, isn't it, Bradley? <laughs> Don't forget your objective, guys. Three to four symptoms. To four Keep the pulse in the 60s. Four. Four on. Bradley's on. Coming up on two minutes. Go down to question number two, and I'm going to ask you to hold up your hand and tell me how many symptoms you got with your fingers. Franklin, how many you got? Two. Uh, Lisa, two. Rhonda? I mean, no, Rhonda, I'm sorry. Donald, how many symptoms? You got two of them. Larry, two symptoms. Okay, Kent, what do you got? How many symptoms? One, two, two? One or two. <laughs> okay, Stephen. What do you got? Three? Okay. Ted's not in there. Remember, if you got two or three good symptoms, you get down lower 70s, down by the 60s, you don't want to go too far because you won't remember what, what those symptoms are, and that's not good. You want to come out of here with a recognition of what those symptoms would be. It won't help to smile at me, Franklin. <laughs> it does, I can't help you. <laughs> There's three minutes, guys, gals. Question number four, line three. Anybody in the 60s as far as the post -seminar? Larry and Stephen. Larry, uh, Stephen's about 63. Kent, Stephen, we got if you're 
in the lower 60s. Don't you go too far. <laughs> He's in the upper 60s. Okay, upper 60s. Steven's going on. Good job. How many people in there do not have three symptoms? One person. Okay, right. Okay. Franklin and Ron have two. Okay, dokey. You got some blue lips, Rhonda. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of blue in your there lip. There you go. Rhonda's going on, Roger. Okay, there's four minutes. Go down to question number four. Four minute line. Your objective three good symptoms. You recognize what they are. Go ahead and put your mask on. Mr. Franklin's going on, Roger. Good job. Nine on. Larry Donald's on. So Larry and Kent, you guys, you guys got three good symptoms yet? You got two, okay, Stephen. I mean, uh, Kent's got two. There you go. Larry's going on. Make sure you slow your breathing right down when you get on, okay, so you don't get hyperventilate. Coming up on five. Okay, there's five minutes, big guy. That's all the oxygen the government can afford. Kent, you got to put your mask on, big boy. Nope. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where's your mask at? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that cat reaction. Do you want to put, pick that clipboard back up? He, he put that clipboard down on the... Once he remembers where he left it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's what I want you to do. Give me a thumbs up if you're back to normal. We'll start with uh, Alicia. You're back to normal, okay. Rhonda? Donald, Larry, Kent, Stephen, up here, Franklin, Bradley, you're back to normal. Brad, Brad, you're back to normal. Yeah, he's good. Okay, this side over here on Franklin's side, please just flip your sh sheet over. You can put your oxygen pulsimeter back up on there if you want. And then over here on Sarah's side, if you'd please uh, flip your sheet back on, put on your oxygen pulsimeter reading. And we'll get ready to give you some free gas. Once again, Franklin's side over here, you're going to observe the folks in front of you so that you can see some of the signs possible, heavy breathing, stuff like that. Okay? Any questions over here on Sarah's side of what we're doing? You saw what's going on, okay? Everybody up? All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Mask off on Sarah's side over here. There you go. Good job. Tell you what, do a little standard whistle. See if you can whistle. You whistle up here, baby. You got to pucker her. There's something else. <laughs> Forgot to do that for your side. <laughs> That's the temperature in the air. A little warm. We've been working on it out here a little. There's one 11. minute, guys, gals. Line number four, please. Number 11 on. 11's on. And go down to question number four. And put those symptoms that you got. Okay, we have to one minute.
Okay, there's two minutes. Go down to question number four. Second line down. Okay. Put your pulsimeter reading down there. And what? Give me your fingers. How many symptoms you got right now, Sarah? James, how many symptoms you got? One. Sarah, how many symptoms you got? Hold your hand up. Are you there? Sarah. About three. Three? Sarah, can you hear me? Oh, put your hand up. Okay. That's <laughs> what so make sure you Okay, Dan, how many symptoms you got? Got two, Chris. Okay, Zach. Got three. Neil. He's on. Oh, he's on. Mark. How many symptoms you got, big guy? Okay, a couple of them. How about you, Dan? Two, and then Peter, how many you got back down there? Two. See, most of the time, by two minutes off mask at 25, you're going to have a couple of symptoms at least, usually by two minutes off. Coming up on three. Coming up on three minutes now. Go ahead, line three, please. Ten on. Ten's on. Eighteen. Two on. Sarah's on. Okay, good job. We're coming up on four minutes. Go down to line four, please. On question four. Put your pulsimeter reading. If you got three good symptoms, put your mask on. Good Seven is going on. Okay, Chris. Chris just went on. And three on. James is on. How many symptoms you got, Dan? Two. Two. Okay. Let's just put some reading. Oh, good move. <laughs> Drop the clipboard. Okay. Do I see Mark struggling to breathe, too? Okay, Dan's going on. Who's that down there? Mark. Mark? Mark, how you doing? Yep. Two, three. Hey, uh, do me a favor, Mark. Uh, count backwards from 100 by 3 to Eric over there out loud. So I'll start you out. 197. Go ahead. As soon as he's done, five minutes. Okay, that's good enough. Get that last number you got and circle it and put it on your paper, okay? There's five minutes. Marks. Okay. Everybody on, on mass, five minutes. We're going to put him up there. Hey, all on. Right. Wow. Nobody. Well, we didn't lose anybody. Why does that be real good? <laughs> First time this year. <laughs> First time this year, isn't it? <clears throat> what we're going to be doing down here is uh, go ahead and uh, put the clipboards back where you found them, okay? Just set them back down there, and you'll use them again. Put it up against the wall. What we're going to do is go down here to 18,000 feet. We'll take your mask off for about five minutes. And let you sort of soak at a night vision type cockpit, and we'll see what the rods will do. Yes, we're ready for a descent. You ready, Jarrah? We're coming. We're descending at this time. And what we're going to do is let you sit in there at 18,000 feet with the mask off and just hold it on your lap. And uh, at the end of five minutes, we'll do a little demonstration uh, with this colored pinwheel. You want to pass those out? They're right next to the seats. Oh, next to your seat, you got a big spin wheel, color spin wheel right there. Okay. Take a look at the white side look first. Yours next to your Flipping seat. around there, and there's a night chart on there. Right there's a night chart. Take a look at that where you got mask on, okay? 
see what you can read, and then flip it around the other side, which is color. After you've looked at that, get on the colored side, and you can see what what we're want to keep this at reading distance, okay? So, whatever your reading distance is, uh, keep it at that. Uh, so, uh, we'll set down there for a minute. Okay, we're at 22,000 feet. Go ahead, just take your mask off, please. Set it in your lap, and then you can adjust your headset. You probably will not get any symptoms at 18,000 feet, but if something happens where you feel like you're getting hypoxic symptoms, you, you had at 25,000 feet, you go ahead and put your mask on. Don't worry about the exercise. Okay, it probably won't happen. But And we'll just sit there for a minute. <coughs> And what we're going to do is, uh, how long have we been here? Just got here, didn't we? Yeah, go ahead and flip that chart up and take a look at the uh, eye side and see what you can read on it. Okay, see if you can read anything on it. Changes. And when you get down with that, the reading chart side, flip it over on the colored side and take a look at that colored side from the middle out. And then just set that sucker in your lap. And we'll sit here for a couple more minutes, and then we'll take another look at it, okay? Suppose we don't have any AC yet. No, we're working on it. And I'm sorry, I apologize. Because I hate being hot. I was in Houston yesterday, sweating my head off. So I apologize. And uh, I suggest without the air conditioner, no flatus going down. <laughs> no, we're leveling off. We're leveling off. Those fans aren't turning, are they, Jared? No. Okay. Now they are. They are now? Something just clicked on, yeah. Something just... Come to me, Dad. <laughs> I think we got it fixed. Yay. <laughs> the empire's got to be on the research chamber side. Okay, pull that chart up now and take another look at it. And we're sitting in there. Take a look at the eye side. And then take a look at the colored side and see what the difference is uh, for you. Then after you take a look at that, let me tell you what we're going to be doing here. Because it, I put that on your lap and listen close. Because if this this demonstration, it's only good for about 10 seconds. Okay, what we're going to have you do is we're going to have you take your mask in one hand and don't worry about your headset. Okay, and when I tell you to, what we're going to have you do is look at the colored side at that time and I want you to hold your breath and put your mask on and at that time take three good deep breaths of 100 percent oxygen with your eyes on that chart and we'll see if there's any changes that the rods will be affected but once again you got to keep your eye on the chart right when you get the oxygen to the system and if you don't do it it's about 10 seconds or so it, you're going to lose it it won't happen so it, it goes pretty quick so don't worry about your headset or hair or anything, just put that on, hold your breath, take three good deep breaths of that 100% oxygen, okay? And then you will, should see some difference. We've got about a minute or so here before we, we do that, but I wanted to tell you an important thing about that is it's only about a 10, 15 second uh, window for seeing any differences in the color for the, for as how the rods are affected by that 100% oxygen. Are they on 100%, JR? If yes, they are. They're on 100% now? Okay. Yeah, we never flipped off. Oh, you never did? Okay. Well, we got another minute. I'll tell you another joke, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm running. You won't get it. It's hypoxic. You got it. Maybe I, 
Roger up there. They're, yeah. They're already <laughs> laughing. They must you must have been good. You got to buy telepathy. <laughs> probably, none of the jokes are on that DVD you get from us, by the way. Okay, we got 30 seconds to go. Grab your mask in one hand, okay? Don't worry about your headset. Don't worry about anything like that because you reset that later. Just hold that in that one hand. Put your color chart right in front of you where you're going to see it. And when I tell you, put that quick dawn on. Hold your breath. Take three good deep pumps of breath, 100% oxygen. Keep your eyes on that color chart because that will be affected pretty fast. And it won't take much long to, doesn't take very long to get to it. Okay, there's five minutes. Go ahead and put the mask on. Three good breaths. Keep your eye on the chart. Okie dokie. If you didn't see anything by now, you're not going to see anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, lights are going to be coming up, and if you want to put those charts back down where you were and pull up your uh, clipboard for me, please, we'll start a descent at this time with JR's permission. Okay. Here's what I want you to do on that uh, clipboard. I want you to circle the strongest symptom you had. I don't care where it's at. This strong, the strongest symptom that you had in this chamber flight. Okay? Just circle that. Then, I want you to come over when I tell you and tell me where that symptom showed up. For example, if you were lightheaded or dizzy and it showed up number two, you just say number two, dizzy. Okay? Or maybe number one or two or three. Okay? We'll see. This is a test. Okay, you tell me the symptom, where it showed up, number one, two, or three. Franklin. Number two, tingling. Number two, tingling. Bradley. Okay, I tell you what, just give me fingers where it showed up. Don't even, just show me. First, second, or third. First, Elisa. First, Rhonda. First or second. First, Donald. Second, Larry. Larry. 